Yeah, baby, welcome to another exciting episode of Real Excitement. I've been in Cape Town for almost two years now, and I haven't quite braved the cold Atlantic. Watching all these Ryan Myers videos just got me so amped to get back into the water. Well, everything lined up. What happened? Devin's first oh, yellowtail. I do a small breathe up and take a slow duck down, trying to just calm myself down as much as possible. My heart rate is pumping at this point. Slow your pinning, slow your thinking, slow everything down. Yes, Dev. Now we're talking, brother. The water was absolutely crystal this day and we couldn't have asked for better diving conditions. You can see the bottom just coming into focus there as the yellowtail's trying to get me stuck in the kelp. I opted to swim down, get down to the yellowtail and give him one of those big bear hugs. Yes please, the first successful drift done. Now it's time to go back up and do it again. Ginger throws the flashes, I look down and there they are, already right underneath us. It doesn't take me long to take a breath or two and go down and see what's happening. Once again, taking it very slow and trying to relax as much as possible. Get to just their level or just underneath them, level out and see who comes in first so you can get that higher percentage shot. It was amazing to see how the school would follow the one that you've already shot. For those of you that are from New Zealand or anywhere overseas where you get those huge, huge yellowtail, just know that we don't get those monster sizes here, but we do drool over the ones that you guys catch. There's a whole bunch of robot, eh? I slowed down my footage and had a good look. I was definitely shooting high and pulling a little bit to the left. Time to reset and do another drift. After a lot of knitting and what feels like three hours of my life, I managed to reset. So once again, I do another breathe up on the surface, really trying to relax. It's difficult when you're lying there and you're watching them swim and circle underneath you. I'm taking it very slow. It's definitely not a race to get down there. Luckily, I don't have to go all the way to the bottom anyway. I just have to get underneath them or at their level before I plane out and take a shot. Yes, another one in the bag. You can hear that real singing off. I've got it on very light drag, making my way to the surface. Just make sure you keep moving forward. You gotta keep pulling that line and putting it behind you. This is absolutely vital to make sure that you don't get wrapped up in your dynema. You can see I'm just getting that same shot high and in the midsection. Yeah baby, another absolutely stunning tail. And it didn't take long before we started spotting them again from the surface. On this drift, we found that beautiful patch of reef, and as it came past us, I opted to go down off the side of it, just before we drift over it. You can hear that reef absolutely alive and crackling, it's an incredible sound to hear. Yes please, a much better shot. It looks like I've spined this fish, it's coming in absolutely wonderfully, it's not moving at all. Oh, uh, uh, no, <laughs> just pretending it's fine. Yes, please, another absolutely beautiful tail in the bag. Double dip. It just wouldn't be Chick fil A if you didn't have buttered toasted bun. <laughs> so soft. Chick-fil-A in SA. Yeah, baby. I'm so soft. Mm. <laughs> so good.